It is cold. It is winter. All our big fish are up north. So this video is all about catching Khalin. To me, the most important part of Khalin fishing is having proper bait. Um, you have to have good quality, well matured red bait. So let's gather some. So the best way to gather red bait is on spring low tide and um, it's very important to explain to you guys that there's two different pods of red bait that you, you get. As we say in Afrikaans, this is the, the clip royals. You'll see it's got a, a big filter at top and then you get the sand red bait. There's a bit there as well. It's got two, two smaller um, openings for filtration. There's a difference in color as well. Um, your, the clippers has got a red color to it and the, the sand bait has got a yellowish light orange color. Mostly when you look for the different types of red bait you'll see in, in rock pools like this your red bait your, your clippers like a red bait will sit a bit higher up like this here and down in the pool like right here where there's a bit of sand at the bottom there's the sand, sand bait and you'll see all along here yeah is it's covered with with your sand bait that's the ones that you're looking for Guys, the difference in the color of the red bait. Um, this is the sand bait, and this is your rock bait. And um, both work very well, but they have different applications, different different times that you use them. I prefer the the sand bait to mature it well and to use it when the sea has a lot of color and when um, the sea is a bit up, as well as up, and you need a lot of smell. The red one. I often like to use it in clean water um, as well as and then I use it fresh as well as for, for cracker fresh like it is here a big, big bunch of it on a, on a bigger hook fishing for a cracker it's a very good bait but when I'm collecting bait specifically for for Kalyan this is the one that I'm looking for I'm going to show you the maturing process as well benefits of collecting red bait fresh oyster mm. oh, good. Oh. I want to show you guys exactly how I cut it out and what I do you see there is a red bait um, it's difficult to see it on the camera but it, it, it looks like part of the rock but once your eye gets used to it it's easy to identify them but there's an opening and there's an opening that's the filter I like to put my knife in just at the back of the, the filter, cut it open, like so, remove the part that you cut off, and there the red basic bait is exposed, you'll feel there's a small membrane keeping it in touch, so I just put my finger in all around the edges, just making it loose. And then you'll feel it's not intact anymore. Put your finger at the back, get it out, pull it out. And that's your red bait pot. Perfect for Khalyun. Red bait honey hole. When I get to a spot like this, I cut a few open and then once it's open I just take them out. Come on, you Khalyun. Khalyun pudding. Hmm. 
beautiful bite. Beautiful, beautiful. Still have a healthy ecosystem here in the Southern Cape. And um, we all look after it. Um, we all take a pot and we all do a, we all do our pot for, for conservation. And um, you have to look after it. So that's why you have to remember to stick to your bag limits, size limits, and your bait collecting limits. You have to have a, a bait license along with your fishing license to get a collect red bait and you're only allowed to be in a maximum of two kilograms of red bait in your possession so remember that guys stick to the limits keep our systems healthy so that i can do this with my kids and my kids can do it with his kids Got me on the back. Let the gold. Okay, let's get out of this spot. So that's it for collecting. What I do is, once I've gathered enough red bait, when I get rid of the excess um, moisture and water, so I just pour it out. All of the bait. Let it drip for a while so that everything gets out. You know, after like a minute or so, I just. And we're good to go. Now that we're done collecting, let's go home and I'll show you guys how I prepare my bait. Yeah, so we're back home. And um, so I'm going to show you guys how I prepare my bait to absolute perfection how I like it for Halyun you see we drained all this moisture but it's all back again and that's what it will continuously do it will um, get rid of all the moisture and you don't want your bait to be lying in that all the time another thing is you don't want any fresh water to get to your bait and you don't want any flies to get to your bait as well another second thing oh, no, a third thing why we need to seal this is <laughs> the smell of this bait gets real bad and your neighbor's going to complain your wife's going to complain everyone's going to keep complaining except you because you know what it's worth so what i do is take it it's like container like this one drill a hole on each side and then i just put a rod through it this is for my onion bag to hang from and then um, all the, the juices can drip out. So I just need to get this bait into this bag. So all that you need to do is, so that's it. Red bait, onion bag. And then why this rod is running through, is I want to tie my red bait around it. I start out as tight as possible. Just wrap it around it. Squeeze all the juices out as it is hanging. So there you go. So what's happening is all that moisture is dripping out into the bucket underneath, and your bait, you can see it is loose. It is not gonna hang in that juices or in that moisture. And I seal it up nice and tight. So no flies or fresh water can get to it. And important guys, check this every day. So um, you can throw off all the juices that dripped off and um, that your bait is not gonna hang in those juices. You can leave this three to five days and then it's good to go. Guys, so before we get into the second part of the video, which is actually the part where we catch Khalin and fish for some Khalin, hit that subscribe button on my channel, also the notification bell, so that you guys will be notified when once I upload a new video. 
to your guts. Good morning guys. We're off to an early start here in the Southern Cape this morning. Um, target a species today, Khalyun. I'll show you how I prepare my bait. Let's get to the fishing. Um, let's run through the tackle first. Um, usually when I fish for Khalyun, I use two setups. Um, my first setups that I, that I always prefer to use is the Sassan Bluefish Special 13 foot. Um, this I use for general Khalyun fishing. I pair that up with a, a 10,000 Speros 40 pound grinder braid. And um, on that I have like a, you guys can see it, an FG knot directly from a braid to like a 1.5 meters of 0.65 mono. On that mono there's a number four power, Japan power swivel and my hook snoot is about 40 centimeters long, 2 circle hook, 0.65 millimeters. 0.65 millimeter diameter of um, Maxima Ultra Green. My sinker wave is slightly shorter because when you hook the fish, um, you don't want the sinker to drag all, of, all along the bottom, bumping on the rocks and get stuck and snagged, and um, you lose your fish. Another thing that I do is I go to a 0.45 or a 0.50 hook snit that's to, um, to break off once I'm stuck. Um, or if I have a fish on that I can break off my um, sinker and um, my fish is free and I can land my fish. Why I use a power swivel or a single, single one way power swivel is that a, a three way swivel is, is more likely to get stuck and, and snagged up. So I use a one way and once you have the fish on, um, it's all in a straight line so it's easier to go over over the rocks back back and forth and it doesn't get stuck as much. Second second setup that I use is also 10,000, um, also 40 pound braid and then I just go up to the 14 foot rod. This is the Evo Zero medium heavy. Why I use this is when I need to make a bit of a longer cast, when it's a bit more foul, I need to put a bit more pressure on the fish and I really need to pull that fish out of the structure. This is the rod that I go to as well as when I'm fishing in an area like this that has a bit of different species of fish like a cob or a steamers, uh, white steamers, I can use this um, just pick it in and throw for a skinny or for, for a cob and then go yeah, and then fuck around with the play around with the uh, light of the center but we're here for Halloween today so you'll see me fish with this later on maybe but for now I'm going to fish with my goofy um, special alright let's have a look at this bait that we've matured guys look at that perfect you you want this this caramelization that it did look at that bait soft 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 I just want to break off piece that I want I'm gonna make a throw for Halyan Look at that thing, Woo. it's good, perfect, so this is how I hook it, just inside out, once through, and I just throw it around my hook snoot, latex cotton, and I just bind it on top of the, the hook's eye just a couple of times yeah it's got a smell to it and then you don't want to tie it too much around here it needs to be soft so the circle hook can do, do its job usually you use um, dangles with um, circle hooks, but with a soft bait like this, you don't need a dangle, you don't miss fish like this. Little bycatch. 
Blacktail. Very slow this morning. Look at that circle look. Look at that. Perfect. In the corner like it should be. There's a Khalyun. Uh. Finally we have a Khalyun. Keith has been slow. Not the biggest of fish, but it's what we're after. Once again, like I said, you guys don't have to be concerned. Check it out, hook up. Every single time. Perfect hook up. Beautiful. This legal limit for Khalyun is 35 centimeters. Bag limit is two per person per day. This fish will be over the legal limit. Um, I'm going to put him back. Finally a small Khalil. Yeah, this is what we're looking for. We want a slightly bigger one, bigger specimen. And here we are guys, this is our national fish. The Khalil. Yeah, let's get this one back. While he's still alive and kicking. concludes our Kalyun fishing video. Um, to me this video was more about the preparing of the bait to show you guys how I like to mature my red bait to, to uh, the actual catching of the Kalyun. So um, I will definitely make another video during this winter about actually catching Kalyun, showing you guys a couple of Kalyun. Today was just terrible. Uh, it was very slow. Uh, but um, yeah, that's fishing. To me, it's always fun to be out here, you know, in nature. It's just beautiful out here. It's, it's a beautiful place. And um, yeah, so guys, if you enjoyed it, if you want to see some more edible fishing, some more videos on a specific species, um, please leave, leave a, a comment um, down in the, in the comment section. If you guys, please like this video, share it. And um, you know, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please subscribe to Zulu Fishing. And um, I'll see you guys. I'll see you guys in my next video.